Hello, and welcome. I'm Zyander, and we do have audio, as you can hear by the obnoxious noises. And uh, two villagers have found their way in. Uh, I have not uh, put a fence around the entire place. Like I said, I probably would, because I decided that we're going to move the entire thing onto flatter land at first available opportunity. Uh, nothing's really changed in here. I have acquired some ores, I went mining, mostly just mining within the caves around here. But then I also did dig a access shaft down for some strip mining, but I haven't actually done anything in that yet. Uh, partly because I need to get a pick, and unfortunately our only available option right now is going to be the iron pick. But that just means I need to save three iron. The first thing I want to do, though, is I need a furnace, because I don't have one. And I'm I'm gonna go straight into Ender IO simply because of the fact that this is really all I have for early game or processing. Uh, I do not consider mine chem early game simply because the iron investment. Oh, I can't make can't make a sag mill because I don't have a piston. That's unfortunate. So there's really no point in making an alloy smelter. I guess we're not making those. The... I mean, the closest thing to another option I'd have is... Mine cam, and that requires redstone as well, so... Hmm. Well, that puts a slight damper on things. Hmm. Uh, everything requires redstone. Hmm. Well, that was a turn that I was not quite expecting. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna smelt three iron and go... I could use some coal, but I don't really want to. But I guess I'm just gonna smelt three iron so I can make a uh, iron pickaxe. And while I'm at it, I'll make another stone one, because I'm gonna need it. I don't really have much else I can do at the moment, I suppose, other than go get some redstone. Of course, though, it is night time. I could get emeralds, but they don't serve too many purposes. Uh, this is actually kind of fun, but I don't have any good way to make steel at this point. Uh, and then pretty much most of the rest of it I can't make without... Uh, other machines, so... I mean, there's probably a few things, but a lot of these things don't do much on their own. And there's really no point in making an emerald extraction pipe. I hear obnoxious noises outside the door. Uh, we'll put these here. Excuse me. You're being annoying. Thank you. Ooh. This is seriously hazardous terrain. Now, I put it in the building that is... And there we have our first mob, the infested villager. Is he running away from me, or is he just non-hostile? I think he's running away. Wait, did he buff up the skeleton? Is that what you did? tweaks refreshes my sword where did that where did you go oh. yeah they're, they're super weak they apparently buff other mobs I intentionally did not look into what they do so 
Dude, it's gonna be fun to find out what exactly they do. I mean, obviously you get a slight glance as you're looking down through the page. I think it said something along the lines of throws potions, but perhaps not. Uh, these are carpenter's ladders because I believe... Oh, oh wait, wait, wait. Uh, I don't really have any use for either of these two blocks. Uh, they're primarily used as... Well, in my case, fodder for mine chem. Although the lead once broken down into the actual element. Oh? Is lead actually an element? Like, I realize it's a metal, but... I'm not even going to claim to know what's going on with that. So, just, I'm just going to do the standard thing I like to do, which is a 3x3 three three tunnel. Tunnel? Tunnel? Tunnel, which... conveniently reveals some redstone right away. Uh, I like to fill in the holes I make, just to keep things tidy. Uh, I normally start my tunnels like four or five in anyhow, although I could really get away with digging out less of a 3x3 three three if I started them earlier. But, meh. So, uh, if I really want to try and do mine cam as early as possible, one of the first things I'm going to actually need is a diamond. But I have not increased the spawn rates on the vanilla ores unless the default thermal foundation config does it. Ah. Uh, two? Two? Oh. I was hoping that one would have given me two when I broke it. Oh, wait. Never mind. So. Is that? No. Okay. I heard a skeleton. That means there's probably a cave somewhere nearby. Oh, well. Oh. Caving. And, uh, here. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Not really using too many things. It does turn out there is an extraction pipe that is made from clay. Well, ooh, that, that. Yeah, let's not do that again. I say extraction pipe, it lists as insertion pipe, but the way build craft works is it's effectively opposite land. Meaning that if it says extraction, it, or insertion, you're actually inserting into the pipe, not into the inventory, because that's not how build craft works. Any pipe inserts. Except I believe sandstone only connects to other pipes. Uh, you know what, I'm not going to bother with the lead, I just want to see if I find something more interesting. Some more iron. Nothing there. Ooh, that's, that's a ravine. Okay. This lava is creating an unsafe situation. I'm going to put this on the wall here to hopefully give me an idea of how to get out. Creeper! Creeper. Oh, you were injured. Now, something I do need to collect is definitely the redstone, and we'll use the iron pick on the iron, because at this point, I already know I'm going to be replacing this pick with a... What is this? Peridot, I think? Peridot. Peridot. Uh, ooh. That's not really necessary, because I did find a lava pool when I was doing some slight exploration off-camera that is fairly close. Uh don't believe sulfur is really used in much. Uh, I know that I have it as a good resource. Ooh. Oh, crap. I just realized I think I made a slight boo-boo on Orgen. I don't think I disabled the big reactor's yellow right. But hopefully I did. I don't like having duplicate ores. Uh, mod packs that like, have duplicate ores, those actually tend to annoy the crap out of me. Because it's like, oh, well, I've got all these different ores. Now, I do have artifice, which means that if I find an ore in artifice stuff, it will be... Uh, here's a problem. 
I do have duplicate ores because of uh, artifice in this case, I believe. I believe it's an entirely different ore. Okay, I'm not going to bother with this ravine because it's too high for diamonds. Hey, here's zombie. Is this a Oh, this is another ravine. Excuse me, zombie. I need you to please go away. That is, um, I believe that's tin. Yes, that one's tin up there. Oop. Well, I'm going to have plenty of iron and some redstone and... Hmm was my best source for an engine early on. Uh, my absolute best early source for an engine, I believe, is... Once again, Ender.io. Uh, I believe it has the... Out of what's available to me, engine-wise. Well, in terms of efficiency, I believe the hobbyist steam engine works out, but it requires gold, which... Uh, whenever I, I did have a world where I was testing this pack, which I have deleted, partly because I had some other mods in there and a completely different one handling the terrain gen, or rather the uh, mod ores. And when I removed it, it lost all the mod ores, of course. But this does come down to the slight issue of gold's kind of precious because it's used a lot in the ender io stuff it's used in making decent pipes although i could technically make sandstone because i don't think sandstone says anything about it doesn't say anything about drag on it so i don't know how much drag it has or not uh, the reason why i'll probably be using the build craft pipes is because since the last time i used them which was long time ago, I was always kind of against... Am I lost? No. Yes? Slightly. This way. There we go. Uh, the last time I had used them was actually a pretty good while ago, and that was whenever they would just eject on a moment's notice. They seem to have better routing, but they still have the potential to eject if something goes to crap, so. And while I was testing this, I did discover a interesting little conundrum with Buildcraft uh, power pipes, which I'm pretty sure is probably intentional, but it was just interesting to me because it didn't make a whole lot of sense, while at the same time making it so if I use them I have to think better. And I honestly believe that if you need a high distance, low value transfer pipe, or even an early game power transfer pipe, Buildcraft pipes are probably the best way to go, simply because they require two of whatever they're made of, you get eight out, and then it just takes some glass. Where am I? <gasps> Diamond. Diamond. Go away. Diamonds are more important than you. One, two, three diamonds. You know what? I'm okay with this. I really should be placing... Really? More torches that identify how to get out? Although it's apparently right there, so it's not necessary. So I've got... Almost a stack of redstone, some diamonds. I can do some more mining and whatnot off camera. Uh... The thing with the way I've got the mod pack set up right now, there's very few options in terms of 
I just realized my microphone's in a kind of bad spot, but... There's very few options in terms of... Mining. I pretty much only have two, or... Th well, three-ish. Four. Four. Four options. I have the robots from... Uh, open computers, which are kind of eh. I've got the uh, Railcraft Tunnel Bore, which is basically an automatic equivalent of strip mining, or not strip mining, uh, branch mining. So, you know, it's kind of meh. And, oh, these uh, quad chests here. They hold, I believe it's two stacks a piece. I believe. Uh, egg. Ooh, two eggs. Nothing. Uh, I did look up, and it appears that uh, the eggs are used in pretty much nothing. So having those is worthless, pretty much. Whoops. A good bit of gems that'll keep me tied over on those for a while. Lots of iron ore. I'm gonna need probably at least two of these. And I'm gonna need to cook up one of these, unfortunately. And I'll keep that in my inventory. Arrows. Oops. Gunpowder. Uh, I'll keep the mob heads in this one, even though I think I'm gonna have maybe one overflow. Actually, let's just do a quick check. There is. I'm not gonna get a Steve head. And this is crafted. Why is there not. Oh, it's probably listed as a skull, isn't it? Yeah. So there will be one overflow, but wither skeleton skulls. Eh. I'm not sure how much I'll use them. Okay, so what was I doing? I guess I'll check this. I, I do have access to some of the thermal expansion things like Pyrothium, but I have no way to turn it into, like, anything. And I can only turn it back into, basically, the blaze powder that way. So, sulfur's used in that, or it's used in sulfur. Which is apparently a burn time 300 fuel. Interesting. Very interesting. That's actually really good. Uh, in case you don't know, coal is 1,600. So then one of these breaks down into 16 sulfur, which then equates to... a number. Because it's fairly early in the morning, so my thinking is not thinking. Really? You've already put water in it for me? That's useful. Uh, hmm. Okay, so I guess I'll start with a sag mill. Which takes a piston. Uh, what else is required? 6, 4, 10, 14, 15. 15 iron. And I will use clay for, or coal for this, because why not? Okay, there is some mod that breaks the ability to shift-click coal in. Or maybe some other mod added it. Whoops. But it annoys me that I can't. Thunder! Seriously! Music and sounds. Weather. Do you mind? That might actually be environment, maybe? Is environment an option? I don't know. Maybe ambient or something, but I don't know. So... I will need to burn up... Oh, no. Yes, yes. Because I need to make the golden nuggets. Oh, and I'll need to burn one copper. Oh, no, I already put this there. I already thought of that. Uh, I can't be... I can't be bothered to wait. Just do one of these, put it there, two of those, screw it, you can't really go too overboard on furnaces because, 
Mm, I think it's nice. uh, you can't really go overboard on furnaces because they're used in crafting a lot of different things. So screw it. Okay, that's you. Break you down because I don't need you at the moment. Break you down. Stop. Stop that. Start with making the this, and then this this. Oh no! Wait, wait, wait. Bust this down into nuggets. Yeah, that's actually what I wanted to do because I'm going to need that. Oh, what? Oh, not enough iron. Now I have enough iron. Okay. Uh, flint. Ooh, do I have any gravel? Ooh. Okay. Uh, the good news about this is I'm in a village. Which means the entire path is made of gravel. It's two flint, one more. Good to go. Give me that gravel. Okay, we'll put the gravel in here. Um, yeah, I actually need both of these. Do you mind... I'm not on hard, so I think the villagers, the other ones, that have managed to find their terrain somewhere, I'm sure, I believe they're safe, because the zombies shouldn't be able to break down the doors, hopefully. I'll put you here. I'm going to need a lever. Uh, I'll just make four of them. I'll use them at some point. Put that there. Uh, I actually need the crowbar. This functions as a build craft wrench, so I can use it to rotate. And we use two coal. Actually, this stores a hundred thousand, so I might as well just put four coal in and activate. I shouldn't need to add water, which is a good thing. That water should last until after I've already managed to get my ore doubling functional. I suppose it's ore doubling at a bit, but. Uh, I don't remember if I showed this, but it is possible for me to make endurium. So that's going to be fun, because plutonium and... Plutonium, this is basically blaze powder or blaze rods. Einsteinium is an ender pearl. Uh, so is the calcium carbonate. Eight el calcium carbonate and einsteinium makes an ender pearl. And then we've got iron, sulfur, carbon... Platinum. Fun fun. Although, that's only a fourth of an ingot. Huh. Because an ingot is 16. Hmm. Uh, silver and tin. Uh, all in all, I would actually... S oh no, you get four of them in a normal craft, so... But I don't have to make any pyrothium dust to cook it up. I make it straight into an ingot. So it's actually really good. Uh, that makes this the best material available to us for making uh, turbine coils. But it also makes it extremely expensive because radioactive materials decay. I was going to say this is being disappointing, but it hasn't fully heated up yet. You know what, I'm going to give it two more. I want to maximize my iron, and how much more iron do I need? Eight? No. Fifteen. So I'll put... Seven in there. Uh, this uses twenty. This at full self-burning. I say self-burning. You can, of course, power it off of a... Uh, wow, I'm having issues. Steam boiling. It will run at 2. But I believe it heats up to 1.6. And it also outputs faster the more this fills up. So the more this fills up, the more this will fill up, and then this will fill up, and then it will output faster. So it's actually really bad right now, but if you're, I believe it was, if you're cooking more than one piece of coal, the hobbyist steam engine per fuel is the most efficient. 
and mind chem machines. Oh man, these machines are ridiculous. Look, look, look. Seven iron, followed by eight iron, followed by nine iron. Seventy-nine. That's why six is afraid of them, but yeah. <laughs> uh, what the fuck? Why did I even make that joke? Anyhow, uh. What is that then? That's. A dumb? 25? Sound right? 25 iron to make that? I could! It'd be really expensive! Really, really expensive! Where's up to green now? He's outputting slightly faster! Once this caps out there, this. Yeah, it's starting to cook up real quick. That should get up to, I think, orange, and then it'll actually start going at almost full speed on this, so that'll be nice. Uh, we got very little gold, and gold is used in everything. Can you make wooden rails? Oh, I never noticed this. 30% of the speed of a normal track. Eh. Uh, oh, string? String? Very good. In a way, I could put nuggets in here because technically they're a pigman drop, but the chances of me actually killing a pigman are lower. Although, I never thought about making a farm for them for good purposes, but I want to get the alloy smelter going before we stop here, so. Uh, what did I say? I need eight? I think it was eight. Uh, one coal, I'll put you in here. I'm gonna make, oops, I'm gonna make a gamble. Oh, it's because big reactors change it into so you can smoke coal, which means that, okay. That's why, big reactors is what's breaking the shift clicking of fuel, or out of at least coal into a, rea into a furnace, because yeah, I can still do it with wood. This is heated up to yellow, so this will be going slightly faster. I should be able to at least finish this one before that runs out. Yeah. Check that out. Uh, I'm assuming I don't have a single piece of sand. No, I do not. If I had a single piece of sand, I could make a wooden transport pipe and then apply some redstone and maybe be able to power multiple things with it. I might have to make other, another pipe type if I were to do that, but I'm not really in the situation to be doing a whole lot of oh, pulverized ferris. I was trying to not make that really acquirable, but it does turn into nickel. I can turn the dust directly into nickel. Uh, Invar can be used to make a rocket launch. So, I can technically make things that require invar. Oh, it's actually probably a good thing that I've slight access to these, although it's a harder access. Uh, this is, I believe, mostly tier 3 turrets, but it also has some pieces that looks like they're kind of necessary. And, yeah, okay. So I have access to invar, which is okay. So wait, I can get tin and... Okay. Whatever. Uh, you are done. So, I want to make an alloy smelter, please. Uh, three furnaces. One of these. Uh, three. Wow. What are the chances of that? Oh. oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Oh, no. I was wrong. I was wrong. I was wrong. I forgot about the cauldron. And I'm not near a swamp, so I don't think the ability of me finding one is really possible. Sir, I'm going to need you to hurry up. Thank you. And I guess we'll just let this build up a charge while we're waiting. Uh, you not quite half a bucket of water yet. Uh, might as well give it more coal. Might as well put as much power into this, and it's already heated up, so there's no sense in wasting anything. 
that is the cauldron. Just make sure that I'm not missing anything. Aside from the remaining four iron that I need, I am not missing anything. And if I get hungry, I have potatoes available. What do you... What do I get from you? Cellulose, potassium, and water. Potassium can be used to make potassium. A lot of these aren't really useful in things. They seem to be more of... filler materials, almost. I'm assuming they might be effect things. Like, if I were to drink one or something, I would get an effect. But Alloy smelter! Yeah. Oops. So now we can crowbar it this way, and I guess we'll cook up this piece of tin. Curious to know what this will turn into. And... Railcraft tin. Good. I actually want railcraft ores. I do not want the thermal expansion ores. Because... Well, it's not really going to matter. Because railcraft has this thing called a metals chest, where I can put metals in it. And that will supply me with... Uh, it, it'll turn things into blocks and whatnot. It's just space saving. Which, space saving is going to be very important because of the sheer lack of things available to me. Uh, I can actually make conductive iron, which is still used in these energy conduits. I believe these used to be higher. I'm actually kind of okay with them getting nerfed. Uh, oh, I need two sand. Crap. Six gravel. Uh, sorry about this, but I'm going to need two sand, so I need you to stop what you're doing. Uh, this is not going to be able to cook all these with this, but it'll get it started. And we've exceeded 30 minutes, so this is kind of... I should really stop, but I want to get the power cables going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, I just realized this is stupid, because then I can't cook the stuff in there. But I'm going to need the iron anyhow. Crap. Uh, turn. Oops, turn. I need you to make... Nope. Nope. Not yet. Uh... Clay? Clay is involved somewhere in this. Binder. Binder composite. Eight binder composites. Hurry up with the iron. Conductive iron is made with one redstone and one iron. Good to know. Uh, this should spit out enough, I think. One equals four. This would be enough for two sets of cables. So I want to do this. And this will end up taking a while. Well, I've already showed you how I'm going to make it. So, when we come back next time, this configuration will be set up slightly better. Uh... I I guess I'll be wasteful. I'll turn this up and I'll replace this with the sag mill. Because why not? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, I'm going to call this good and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.